How's it going everybody? We're going on with this route because in the last episode we did a little extra quest and let's have a look at We did an extra quest, we got that Landris. I picked up TM92 Trick Room off screen, it's in the eastern lake of Landris. And I battled the trainer. As you can see, this is a person has a Numel. I have a land at level 66, I train in one level. And since Numels are fire ground, they have like a quad weakness to light. In this case, or quite weakness to water, which light obviously is a master of. So, there goes this backpacker. Thank you, you and I are friends, right? Yeah, totally. You are so weak, we're friends. But still, she only has like one new mole. How did she even make it here? Change your type in the training card to see it, change how other players see you. You look different to others in the union room in the tag block. Match up with your introduction or character showing your individuality. Yeah, right. Don't care. Let's go. Who's this? Alavich, find trainers! It's a perfect picture! Actually, I can imagine that two trainers like battling each other on a bridge, but then again, like, I'd rather see physical fights than a Pokemon fight on the bridge. But maybe that's just me. It would look cool. So, this person here is a Primeape, PMS Rage. It's gonna. Oh, it's gonna hurt me because close combat is gonna do some decent damage here. Look at that. That's almost half the damage of Light's HP. Or, like, half of Light's HP. And I almost messed up with my voice there. Got down with the list with like no HP. So it's gonna go for another close combat that hurts again. As long as it's no critical, I live. This primate took way too much HP off me already. And I don't like that. Gives decent experience though. Next one is a Scrafty. Scrafty is um, Fire Dark, I believe. So the Scrafty's gonna hurt from a serve unless he's faster. He's gonna go for Focus Punch, isn't he? Well, then I got some bad news for you. Either he's not gonna live or his focus is broken. And he's not fire. He lost his focus and he could have moved. Yeah, yeah, please. Yes, please. Keep going. Keep using Focus Punch because it has no effect. Server's not gonna miss. And I'm gonna do it again. Oh, what a moron. He keeps going for Focus Punch. Are you serious? You see that my attacks are 100% accurate, so don't use them. Oh, you. And the Scrafty's dead. Last Whoop is a Polyrath. I hope I'm faster because it could actually make a difference. Because I got Thunderbolts. And he has fighting moves, so he can both hit each other pretty hard. But I'm faster, so I get a little bit of a benefit here. Even though it does What the- Why did they go for Mind Reader? It took aim at me. Don't care. I'm gonna go die anyways. Like, at least retaliate with a close comment or something like that. That way I'm done, but... I guess not. I'm not weak, even though I lost. You were one, they're just too strong. Um, no. My lanterns just kick ass. But then again, lanterns are kick ass in general. Um, I believe actually there is something in the water. If it's not here, then it's up there. But, okay, then it's probably up there. And I just ran into a wild Pokemon, lovely. Uh, Vasculin, I have seen bazillions of those already. So, I'm gonna go and run. Because I'm scared of a level 36 Vasculin, by far. You know what? Might as well battle him. An expert fisherman can time many things perfectly and precisely. Are you an expert fisherman? Mr. Sid? He has a Barbudge. Okay, that's decent. It's water grounds. I wish I had a grass Pokemon there. That would be so much epic. Because he can't handle a grass Pokemon, but then again, I wanted, I wanted to give him a Thunderbolt, but I can't. So that's pretty sad. It's gonna go. For, oh god, I forgot. It's grounds. I'm done. Bye, Light. Yay, wait. What? Light! You're awesome. You survived that. Like, that Lander has just destroyed Light, and yeah, this Barbudge is just fucking weak. Next one is a Wish Gash. Uh, do I have anything else decent against Witch Cash? Might as well send an Elena. Don't think an Earthquake is going to hit her hard anyways. And I can Earthquake back if I really want to. Because this Axorus has Earthquake. But it doesn't matter. Look at the Witch Cash. The Witch Cash has a way too fucking happy face. He has a big smile. Like, wow. It makes me really happy seeing that Witch Cash. But it makes me really sad that he had to go. Critical hits probably did matter. But then again, how much difference would it make in the end? Next one is Carvana. Wouldn't be surprised if he asked for this last one is Chirpino. That one looks really mean. Doesn't matter if it's gonna go for Aqua Jet. Priority move, doesn't do a lot of damage. But then again, it's better than no damage because he's not gonna live a Dragon Claw. I do get Ruskin damage, but that's fine. And Elena's level 61. Awesome. Next one is a Corp Fish. Oh wait, it's a little cra it's a little uh, crap. Crawdons is where he evolves into, if I pronounce it correctly. 
And yeah, he's done. He's pretty much done. A lot of my timing didn't go well. No, you shouldn't have battled me in general, period. Like, round 14, I know, because this is supposed to be a new town. Why does it say... Oh, wait, I have to send in here. Yandala Town. Now, you might be surprised, like, what the hell is going on, because Yandala Town is actually over water. A really nice place. What you first want to do is go to the Pokemon Center, that's kind of obvious. And heal up, because, yeah, we've had a trouble, and Andela Town is our next destination. So we can explore some things here. Even though there isn't really a lot to explore in this place. Please let me check for a bit. There are a few things you want to pick up, though. Um, this guy here. He has an item for you. Hello, boy. Do you have a villa in Adela? You are rich. As a token of a new acquaintance, please accept this. Um, I do not have a villa, but thank you for the prism skill. Is it a prison skill beautiful? It may, it may be good to like a Pokemon hold it. If you give it to a Feebas and then trade it, it evolves to Melodic. So it's another way of getting it rather than upping beauty. Um, you can get Luxury and Dive Balls here if you talk to the shopkeeper, but I don't really need them. This lady here is going to be really important. Look at that. This is almost as if we are together. The sea. It's the source of life. The sea. It's a lot of water. So teachers move to your Pokemon and you can dive into the sea. We get HMO6 Dive. Now we can dive at the, off the coast of Umbrella Bay to the east. Inside this animation is dive. The darkest parts of the sea are called diving points, and if you dive there, you can dive all the way to the bottom of the sea. Isn't that lovely? This house, I'm skipping it for a very valid reason. Everybody who knows this game knows exactly what's in here. So don't go in there. Now we get a few empty houses. Which isn't really too much of a shame, but we have a villa belonging to the riches. That's a fancy place, so let's go in. Looks kind of abandoned. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, let's get there. Let's go have a chat with him. So you can see, I'm an ultra rich billionaire. As you can see, my hobbies to collect rare items. In fact, this outfit is ultra expensive and rare. The sign that this billionaire wants to get his hands on, even if it means spending a lot of money. Do you have an item? We'll come back to him later. Uh, let me see. I believe actually the person I'm looking for is out here. Is it him? You have an extremely bored look on your face. I'll let you have a very exciting battle with me. Fair enough. It's this person. The richest Draco. God, this reminds me so much of Draco Malfoy. No offense. Like, well, I never really liked Draco that much. As as like the person in the um, in the movies, of course, not the actual actor. Because the actual actor is actually quite a nice person, I believe, or what I've seen from him. But he plays like such a scumbag role in the movie. But you're just so relaxed. How could you win against a busy person like Holy shit, 12,000. I like you. I'll let you see very special things. Follow me. He's gonna let me see some special. <laughs> Isn't it great? Isn't it spacious? This is my dad's villa and I can use it freely. But when I came here, surprisingly, there was nothing to do, so now I'm bored. As you may know, my dad's totally obsessed with items at the runes. You're bored, don't you? Come here tomorrow, too. I don't mind having a battle with you. Basically, you can return every day to take more of this family on. Mm. Only one thing you want to do, though, if you go outside of this place, there is a big nugget. If you sell it to the man in Icarus City, you get some massive cash, but I'll do that off screen. Because I don't think I really need to. Um, if you're actually in the summer months, February, June, and October, I can do that off screen. You can stop by one of these houses and you can get a Sincho and you can trade that for a Munchlax. Because Munchlax are quite rare here. You gotta find a Sincho though, or use a shiny so on a Mincho to get one. It's not the easiest trade, but it's pretty much worth it. Actually, there are two places to go from here, but I'm pretty much gonna do that in the next episode because we have the Abyssal Runes coming up pretty soon, either in the next episode or the episode after. So, I thank you all for watching this rather short episode, I guess. But then again, I'm aiming for shorter episodes. And I'll see you guys next time where we're going to go over Adela Bay and see if we can reach the Abyssal Runes. Until next time, for more Pokemon Lights.